Okay, round one. We won the die roll. We'll play first. Got a one lander here, so we're going to mulligan. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. This hand will have to do. I'm hoping that we get to play something before this Aether Storm Rock, though. We're going to bottom any land. Opponent is also mulliganing. Um, hmm. I don't know how I feel about keeping underhanded design on top. The problem with keeping it on top, well, there's pros and cons to keeping it on top. The pro is all our future artifacts are probably going to be able to drain our opponent. And we have quite a few cheap-ish artifacts. The problem is we have no artifacts in hand, and we're kind of looking for some earlier action. I think I'm actually going to bottom the underhanded design. As much as I like the card, it seems like there's more pressing things we need to draw. Uh, and I, if I had like one artifact in hand, I probably would have kept the underhanded design. But I think we need to dig deeper for our two drops. Like Die Young, for example. Alright. I can Die Young that pretty comfortably. And I want to, because that thing being a three power attacker on turn three, if my opponent has an artifact, is actually pretty good. Alright, Marauder. So, Marauder is going to let us, uh, I guess I definitely still want to play the rock first. Hmm. Card's good. I have tidy conclusion, I guess, that can take care of it at some point. So let's get our rock down. Okay, so my opponent still can't crew the caravan. I think we're just going to slam the Marauder here and then attack with the rock and we'll buff it up. So we'll get in for four. That's a good draw too, actually. But actually, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Let me think about this. So I can play the Enthusiast, and I get three energy. So I can still buff my rock. And then next turn, I can buff my rock again and play the Marauder. So then I can attack. Yeah, I, I kind of like that setup a little bit more. So next turn, I can get in for five flying. Get in for four, get in for five, and then steal the two counters for my Marauder. So play a four mana, four, four flying lifelink. Yeah, that is good. All right, let's 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 do that. So we'll play the Enthusiast. We'll get a couple dudes. Get a couple, some boots on the ground, as they say. Okay. Two cards left in my opponent's hand. Definitely like my opponent attacking here. So 
So we've got Puzzle Knot, but we'll just play the Marauder. I can't. I'd like to. <clears throat> Alright, Harsh Scrutiny is going to be a miss. We'll see what our opponent scries. They bottom the top card, and then they play underhanded design. They do have two artifacts, so they're going to be able to blow up our Marauder here. Okay. No cards left in my opponent's hand. I really like that they're still attacking here, though. It's very helpful. So we'll play the Puzzle Knot. Get in. Guess we can play the land and pass. So I can chump with Enthusiast if my opponent attacks with the Caravan because the only card I have in my deck that synergizes with it is Wisp Weaver Angel. So I think I'm a little more okay with this. Now my opponent chooses not to. Attack with the P foul. It's fascinating. All right, so let's spit out another servo. All right, so a wee bit of flood. Looking for. We actually have a lot of cards that would be excellent top decks here. Master Trinketeer, any sort of removal spell. There's like a million things actually that would be phenomenally good here. Straight up a million. So I guess I want a tidy conclusion in Sky Whale because uh, if I draw something, I want to be able to play it. All right, so we'll construct. Eddie Trailhawk. Uh, I mean, it lets me fly over top. My opponent's got the P foul, though, so I think we're kind of looking for something better. What are we trying to draw? Self Assembler, another conclusion, a Wisp Weaver Angel, a Dragster would be okay, a Trinketeer, a Privileges, another Die Young would actually be okay. So we have a lot of better draws, I think, than the Hawk here, especially considering my opponent's got the P foul, so I think we're actually going to bottom the Hawk. Okay, so my opponent put a card on top, which is bad news for us. That means they found something. So, currently not winning the top deck war, but hopefully we can change that. So, I might just have to block, put a million things in front of this Cultivator's Caravan, which I'm not in love with, but... I I don't know if I can afford to get slammed by a 5-5 five five for too many turns. All right. 
we're in too much trouble probably to recover at this point, but needed to draw something good. All right, we'll take a million damage here. Definitely wanted opponent to miss, but no such luck. And we'll play an Ibex. Yeah, so this actually feels like it's a winnable match. We just actually have to draw a lot better. That's basically it. If we draw better, this shouldn't be too tough of a match, I don't think. I mean, our opponent is just... I'm not even going to let them look at the top four. There's... there's. If Is there any card I could draw that would bring me back in this? Self-Assembler won't do it. Whisper of Angel won't do it. Um, Trinketeer won't do it. So since there's nothing that can actually do it, I'm just not going to give my opponent information. So we just base, yeah, we just have to draw better. If we draw better, can easily win this match. If we don't draw better, gonna lose. That is the simplest explanation I can give you. Yeah, we'll keep this. San needs some help. We also know our opponent's got a just a bajillion of those two drop operatives so they're going to be a problem i'm almost i could tell you with like 90 percent certainty he's going to have an operative on turn two Let's see if he's no scrutiny i guess that's good so there's a die young that we're going to have to cast on this operative that my opponent will play Hmm. Construct. Well, that's less intimidating. Um, yeah, we want the land, so we'll keep that on top. So now the question becomes, do I want to play Die Young on a Construct? Not particularly. There's a good die young target. So we'll play the pioneer for now. Uh oh. So I guess we're going to drop a self-assembler and find another one. So I've taken four damage from this construct now. Maybe it was a wise idea to just kill it. But my hope is that this self-assembler can keep it at bay. Where's my self-assembler? Oh, he exiled it. Oh, boy. 
That's a bummer. Yeah, I'm willing to block here. Malfus squad. My opponent can still cast whatever they got off Gonti, by the way. So I can cast Wispweaver Angel. I can die young that too. Yeah, let's just... Do a little bit of damage prevention for now. Like, maybe we'll find something better that we can actually blink with Wisp Weaver, ideally. So, I guess... Am I happy that I didn't use the Die Young on the Eager Construct? We've taken six points of damage, but I used it on a better target in Malfus Squad. So, I don't actually know the answer to that question. Alright, so if we don't draw a land for the rest of the game, we'll probably be in great shape. If we do draw a land, not feeling very confident. So what could my opponent have here? I don't know, but I'm going to block. All right. Take a two for one. We're going to need those to win. Okay, so I can kill that. So, if we draw a Trinketeer now, we'd be in pretty good shape if he didn't have an answer for it. Oh, Demon of Dark Schemes, too? Pretty impressive. Opponent's deck is cool. It's going to be a tough card to beat. So, kind of need to rip a tidy conclusion here. All right. Yeah, I didn't really want to see that kind of turn progression out of our opponent, but what can you do? Ibex looks extremely unimpressive here. I think that's, is that, I wonder if that's our self-assembler? Actually, did that come from his hand? I couldn't tell. So now we just have to jump block, so that is GG's. There is no draws we could do that would do anything here. So lost a lot of confidence uh, with this game. Um, just because we got wrecked and we basically, I feel like, didn't do much of anything. So not feeling too good.
uh, after this match, but hopefully in match two, our, our deck's going to perform a little bit better because I really, honestly, I really like the way our deck looks. Like I said, we have a ton of removal. We have premium. We have card advantage. We have premium removal. We have evasion. We have bombs. So I know that this deck can get there, but we're going to have to just draw a lot better than we did this match in order to win. So we'll see you round two.